Hello. The IMAX V6 LiPo charger sometimes overcharges one or more cells of a LiPo battery. The usual reason for this is that the IMAX reads the cell voltages too low and hence the discharger doesn't discharge at the correct time and the cells, the voltages go high, the IMAX charges the batteries too high. This results in the LiPo packs swelling, this one or two of the cells swelling, which could eventually lead to a fire, certainly destroys the LiPo pack. There are two proposed solutions to this. One is to change the potentiometer resistors within the IMAX. Also, one can reprogram, that is, reflash the Atmega controller and recalibrate the IMAX. But for recalibration, one should only do this if you are sure that there is no hardware fault within the IMAX. You will see in this video that the multiplexer leading to the ADC on the Atmega controller was faulty and replacing that caused the IMAX to function perfectly. One of the problems of the IMAX B6 AC charger is that it reads the cell voltages wrong. Here we can see the cell voltages is 3.96, 4.09 and 4.06 respectively. Here I've disconnected the balance charger from the IMAX and it's reading it on another voltage meter. Here the voltage says 4.18, 4.20 and 4.17. Here I've connected back the battery to the IMAX charger and you can see the voltages are consistently lower than what they actually are. This leads to overcharging of a cell. Here I've opened up the IMAX charger and will attempt to disconnect the LCD in order to show the circuit at the bottom where I suspect the voltage dividers and the conversion from analog to digital or the AC ADC connections exist. This is the IMAX with the screen removed. I've removed the screen. We can see the voltage port where the LiPo battery connects for discharging. This section here are the resistors for the discharge circuit of each of the LiPo cells. These potentiometers here, potential dividers here, are for the first and second cells. This is the Atmega controller, which has the program for charging the LiPo battery and various other batteries. This is also the multiplexer. The multiplexer takes the cell voltages and sends it to the ADC of the Atmega controller. If anything is wrong with the voltages sent to the Atmega controller, the IMAX will not respond properly and hence a case of over or under charging could occur. In this case, it was found that the multiplexer, which is a 4051, was faulty and changing the multiplexer resolved the problem. Here I've replaced the screen of the IMAX charger and I'm plugging in a LiPo battery onto the port. I'm going to start the charging. And then we are going to read the cell voltages at the balance port. The voltages currently read 4.18, 4.18 and 4.19. I'm stopping the charger and I'm connecting it now to my voltage tester.
which reads 4.18, 4.18, 4.17, which is very good compared to how it was reading before. The multiplexer was the problem. This problem has been solved.